What's going on Pokemon trainers? Today I've got a really cool video with Zoe Two Dots in New York City. We go to the Nintendo store and I show you all kinds of super cool stuff from Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. But first I've got some amazing news and announcement for you guys. First up, we've got the Timeless Cup Meetup and Community Day. It's going to be a massive event this December 15th with me, Trainer Tips, The Cruise Ship, Dark Matter Wolf, Pogo King, Jimma Banks, The Trainer Club, and so many more Pokemon Go YouTubers and PvP battlers. It's going to be an insane time. So if you guys have the ability to come join us in California on December 15th, check out the link in the description box if you want to join the Timeless Cup, if you want to battle in it, or if you just want to show up and have have a good time make sure you guys check all the details in the description box it's gonna be awesome but how are you going to prepare for this coming up December Community Day remember that this Community Day coming up December 15th and 16th is two days long and we recently found out just today that now we know all of the 2019 Pokemon are going to be spawning in increased numbers on both days so now's your chance to catch up on all of those Pokemon that you missed out on previous Community Days in 2019 but not only are you going to be able to get the exclusive Community Day moves for all of the Pokemon that we've seen in 2019, but you're also going to be able to get the exclusive Community Day moves for the Pokemon that were available for you in 2018. So I want to bring up a chart and go over the best moves that you should look forward to getting this Community Day. In order to know the best moves to have on Community Day this December 15th and 16th, I'm going to be going over an article from Ryan Swag on Game Press. If you guys want to read the full article, make sure you check out the link in the description box. But to save time, because I know you guys are in a rush to get to that sweet video goodness, right? Let's go over these really quickly. The two Pokemon that you really want to have for December 15th and 16th for you to evolve is going to be Venusaur and Swampert. Their two exclusive Community Day moves of Frenzy Plant and Hydro Cannon are very, very good to have in PvP. So if you're into PvP, make sure you get a good Ivysaur or Bulbasaur, Mudkip or Marsh Stomp that has good PvP stats with low attack, high HP, and high defense and save those for December 15th and 16th and evolve them to get their exclusive moves. For Tier 2, you've got Charizard, Meganium, Umbreon, Blaziken, and Gardevoir. All of these Pokemon have been proven to be PvP beasts and you want to make sure that you definitely have these to evolve during Community Day if you're still missing these Pokemon with their exclusive moves. You want to especially note Umbreon because it's a very unique Pokemon out of this set. You want to make sure that you have a buddy Eevee that has been walked 10 kilometers and you evolve it while it's your buddy when while it has 10 kilometers walked at night time. Please note that during Community Day, the bonuses are going to be there until 9 p.m. at night. Next up for Tier 3, we've got Blastoise, Tyranitar, Metagross, and Torterra. These Pokemon have also been proven to be very good in PvP. They're not as meta-relevant as the previously ones mentioned. However, they are amazing to have, so if you missed out on these Community Day moves, they're definitely good for you to grab up. Next up in Tier 4, we have Typhlosion and Feraligatr. These Pokemon could be good assets to your team in PvP if you have a way to use them in certain cups. However, they haven't been proven to be extremely meta-relevant but they're definitely good back pocket picks. And finally, last on our list are the Pokemon that you don't really need to prioritize getting on Community Day. However, if you have extra ones with good IVs sitting around, they're definitely worth that you should evolve these. I'm talking about Pikachu. Of course, you don't need to evolve this one. Pikachu with Surf is not that good, but it is available. Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Dragonite, Ampharos, Espeon, Sceptile, Slacking, Salamence, and Mamoswine. These Pokemon have not been shown to be very, very good in PvP. However, certain ones might be good in raids. So when it comes to raids, which Pokemon do you really want to make sure that you have that exclusive Community Day move? Let's go over this other list by Ryan Swag when it comes to raids. Number one, you want to have Metagross with Meteor Mash. Tier two is going to be Tyranitar, Blaziken, and Salamence coming in very useful for raids. Tier three, you're going to have Venusaur, Sceptile, Swampert, Tier 4, you have Charizard, Feraligatr, and Torterra. And then Tier 5, you got all the rest. Pikachu, Eevee, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Meganium, Typhlosion, Ampharos, Espeon, Umbreon, and Slacking. So, you guys can see there is definitely a difference in their importance, whether it's going to be for PvP or raids. So maybe you want to prioritize which ones you need to evolve for Community Day, depending on which play style you have. 
So what are the details for Community Day this December 15th and 16th? Both days, the entire event is going to run from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., like I said, on both days. However, both days you'll also have the extra bonuses running from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. in your local time zone, which will include two times capture Stardust, two times capture XP, and one half egg hatching distance. Going into the full details on Pokemon Go Live's website, you can see the full list of Pokemon that are going to be appearing during these days if you guys are interested but you can see more frequently appearing in the wild are going to be Totodile, Swinub, Trico, Torchic, Mudkip, Ralts, Slackoff, Trapinch, Bagon, Turtwig, and Chimchar. And if you need these Pokemon from 2018, they're going to be available in raids, including Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Pikachu, Eevee, Dratini, Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Mareep, Larvitar, and Beldum. Also, if you have incubators handy, it might be worth your while to hatch some eggs during Community Day, because in eggs, we're going to see Bulbasaur, Charmander, Pikachu, Dratini, Totodile, Mareep, Swinub, Larvitar, Trico, Torchic, Slackoff, and Bagon, and many more on both days. So basically what I'm saying is, if you need good IVs, it's time to get hatching. And of course, like I told you guys, the exclusive moves featured in 2018 and 2019 Community Day events will be available again. So save up those good IV Pokemon and make sure you guys evolve them on December 15th and 16th. Also, don't forget that this week is super effective week. From the 19th to the 26th, we're going to have more Pokemon that could be good against Team Go Rocket Grunts in the wild more frequently. We're also seeing the addition of Shiny Tentacool out in the wild, so keep your eyes open for Tentacool and make sure you Shiny check it. Also, when you spin at Pokestops, you're more likely to get potions and revives. So if you're low on those items, make sure to spin some Pokestops. Whenever you do a trainer battle, you're going to get two times Stardust. So if you're doing a trainer battle, make sure you put on a star piece. And finally, you're going to get guaranteed charge TMs from all of those three star raids. Thank you to Couple of Gaming for making these graphics. I wanted to quickly show you what tier three raids are available if you're trying to hunt down those charge TMs. You could fight Alolan Raichu, Onyx, Scyther, Pinsir, Vaporeon, Porygon, Aerodactyl, Azumarill, Espeon, Piloswine, Mantine, Skarmory, Pelipper, Metacham, Cacturn, and Ferroseed. Out of that entire list, I think my two favorites could be Skarmory because it could be shiny, and Ferroseed because Ferrothorn is actually very good in PvP, and I do not have a good IV one yet. So if you're trying to hunt those charge TMs and you're trying to complete your Pokedex, maybe now is your chance to hunt down those tier 3 raids. Also, I want to point out in tier 4 raids, Galarian Weezing is still available. There was some confusion. People thought that it was only available for that one raid out after Community Day. It's not the case. Galarian Weezing is still available now in raids. It's just very rare. So keep your eyes out if you still need Galarian Weezing for your Pokedex. Now I think it's time to jump back to New York City with Zoe Two Dots. Let me show you guys how cool the Nintendo Store was all decked out for the Galar experience from Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. And also, I want to remind you guys, if you want to watch me do live streams for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification icon to be alerted whenever I go live. I'm planning on doing Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield live streams this week, so make sure you guys tune in and show some love if you're down for that kind of thing. Anyway, let's jump back to New York. Let's go. Yes, we're here. We're here. We have made it. Made it. Yeah. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield is having a cool event today at the Nintendo Store. So we made it just in time for the last event. This is actually the last day that it's going to be available. Hopefully we can see Pikachu, get some awesome plushies. This is Zoe's first time Hi. in New York, so you guys got to go check out her exciting. channel. Yeah. This is exciting. <laughs> Let's jump inside. <laughs> taken with him. It's adorable. Oh, nice one. So cute. So we're exploring in the upper part of the store, which is like all Nintendo everything. It's not just Pokemon. And we found Game Boy Color watches. Um, that's definitely something I'm going to be putting on my body. So I'm going to be wearing that. Um, it's super cool. You can get Game Boy backpacks, Game Boy wallets, Game Boy fleece throws. It's always over here exploring all kinds of stuff. Plushies galore. Tom Nook. 
as an Animal Crossing fan, I am kind of dying to get this giant KK slider, but I have too many plushies in my collection. That's why I'm going small stuff today. I'm trying not to get too many plushies. So we got over 800 stickers. Stickers for Animal Crossing. We got all kinds of Kirby stuff over here. I'll be honest, I was never super into the Kirby games. I have played... No, I love the look of them, but I've never like gotten into the play style. Exactly, exactly. I mean, Kirby's a cute character. I love yeah. Kirby. Um, I did play Kirby Tilt and Tumble on Game Boy. That was a fun game. That was like the only Kirby game that I've actually played. Kirby stuff. We got Splatoon stuff over here. Pretty cool. Now we have found the Legend of Zelda corner over here. We got Link over here. Is that your favorite character? I think this has got to be, he's got to be my favorite. No? Are you a Zelda fan? Zelda, let me know in the comment section below. Are you team Link or team Zelda? I think I'm going with Link. Yeah! Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Grookey gang, you're first. First up, we've got some Grookey jerseys and Grookey hoodies. There's also a Grookey kind of like flag to hang on your wall. Pretty adorable. Also, we've got Grookey t-shirts and Grookey t-shirts for the little ones. Grookey hats. <laughs> And you've even got fruity cups. What else do you want? Also, score bunny honeys. It's your turn. You've got also some jerseys. They've got like little sewn on logos of score bunny group sobble. Pretty cute. Uh, also, we got score bunny hoodies. By the way, these are $55. They are not cheap. But you can see that um, they have the little embroidered score bunny on there. Score bunny flag. So you're gonna buy that? It's adorable. It's $40. $40. No, thank you. But, Sobble Squad, you're next. You got a flag too. Basically, uh, what they did is they made a hat, a jersey, a mug, a jacket, and a embroidered kind of jersey thing. And of course, the plushies from every starter Pokemon from the Galar region. So, pretty cute. And also, there is a starter Pokemon backpack. Score Bunny, Sobble, and Grookey. By the way, I'm not sponsored from Nintendo. Nintendo, hook me up. Hashtag sponsored, please. But yeah, I'm just trying to tell you guys like it is. It's a lot of fun in here. Let's see what else they've got. Of course, you gotta love Pikachu in here. And there's so much going on. We got Grookey, Score Bunny, and Sobble plushes over there. Of course, everybody's trying to buy one. It's insane. We got the Kanto starters and other starters right here. There's all kinds of merchandise, guys. I actually have this shirt, bought it last time. Pikachu stuff. We got Nintendo Switches in the back, more clothing in the back. It's just insane in here. Yay! We got so Score Bunny Squad! Score Bunny Honey! Yes! Rookie game. Coming out of the Nintendo store, we ran into Miss Mine! So we decided to show Zoe around New York today. You know, we got to get the local tips, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. So Miss Mime is local. Make sure you guys go check out her channel. It's also linked in the description box if you love some New York Pokemon Go goodness. But our first stop on the tour after the Nintendo store is Rockefeller Center, which I was just telling Zoe. Basically, this is like a super famous area where like lots of movies and TV shows have been filmed here. A lot of like uh, morning shows, yeah, morning okay. news shows are filmed here too. But it's a really famous like little skating rink in the back. Super cute. Adorable. But now it's time to go get some food. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's eat. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield live stream. Like I said before, make sure you guys turn on notifications to be alerted whenever I go live, and I'll see you guys in the live stream. Peace out.